two, one. Okay, looks like we are we are live. So it is Friday, March 16th. Welcome to another episode of the Black Sheep Bravo Roundtable discussion here. It's Friday. That means only one thing. It's us all over again. This is the Spaniard keeping it tight right here. I wasn't able to get our intro. I'm still working out some details on that. So we're winging it tonight. So no intro music, no intro, uh, but we're going to dive right into it because we have a lot of shit to talk about. So uh, first off, uh, I'm going to head over to New York, over to the Bronx, and uh, check in with uh, Devil Dog. He's got an announcement real quick. So take it away, Devil Dog. Well, thank you, and welcome back, everybody, to Friday Night Show. So uh, last show, you know, you know, I did a show, uh, a plug for Hooked on Heroes. Wonderful organization. So I apologize to Mr. Ron Cato. We showed the wrong website. So Doc is going to show the right website. And there it is. Good job, Doc. Hooked on Heroes is a wonderful, wonderful organization for veterans, by veterans, where they take veterans out fishing free of charge. So I urge you all to log on to his website, Hooked on Heroes, as you see it on our screen, and uh, help donate, help support this wonderful organization. That's what we're here for at Black Sheep Bravo. Veterans Helping Veterans. Thank you, Ron Cato, and we apologize for the uh, wrong website, but now we got it up and running. Take it away, can guys. You make, can you make it bigger, Doc? Can you can you make it bigger? Well, I guess never mind. Unfortunately, I was not able to. You're not able to make it bigger. Well, there's... there's I don't know right, how. There you have it. There you go. Right. He doesn't there know how. Go. Yeah, there we go. So good. We got well, it right. We got hookedonheroes.com. <laughs> there we go. Ta-da. All right, well, there we go. So, uh... We're gonna go ahead and check in. Uh, we'll come back. We'll come back to uh, Devil Dog real quick, but we'll uh, we'll go ahead and start off with Ogre uh, since uh, it is our St. Patrick's Day Eve. I must warn everybody. I just got back from having a corned beef and cabbage feast. I must have had about three or four pounds of of corned beef and about four or five pints. So I'm gonna be burping throughout <laughs> the night. So bear with me. So Ogre, take it away. Uh, oh, my goodness. oh right. sweet! That was a that was Go a good one. Go I had some it. I had I had some corned beef and threw the cabbage in the garbage at lunch when the people that gave it to me weren't looking. Oh, had to do the trick where you take the where where you eat something or you don't want all of it and you take the plate and you throw it upside down on the in the garbage <laughs> can so you don't make them feel bad. Oh, right. so, yeah, so I did it. The corn beef, the corn beef was okay. And uh, St. Patrick's Eve, once again, I'd like to uh, warn everybody to stay in your homes and watch out for am another amateur night. Amateur night part one of the year is St. Patrick's Day. Oh, I already saw it. And at this place that I was at, there was there was some uh, some drunken women there that were. Yeah, yeah. it's it's well, drunken drunken women are all right, but I guess you know you get all the. <laughs> people running around that think all of a sudden on St. Patrick's Day they can drink four times as much as they normally can. Yeah. And they can't. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, good. Well, welcome. Welcome back. Uh, uh, we're going to head over to Doc. Doc, what's going on in your neck of the woods? Not too much. Um, this morning I took a shower and I completely forgot to wash my hair. So a couple hours later I was like, Stinking. did I wash my hair? And just oh, thinking yeah. about it. I was I was in a yeah. hurry trying to rush and just well, why? You're, you're on spring you're on spring break this week, man. What what's the rush? What do you yeah, what do you yeah. I, I go to the gym in the morning. Yeah, I gotta work out a little oh, bit. Oh the gym. Okay. What oh. gym what gym do you go to? Why are you worried it's, it's about washing your hair going to the gym? <laughs> I mean yeah. like you gotta wake up and shower. Trying to look nice or something. Get audio is uh out. pretty bad. <laughs> are you your teasing it out or something? I think we lost Devil Dog. He, he gone. Oh, there you. Oh, there he goes. Oh, there he is. The hell's going on? So, anyways, it's a couple third, hours later, I had to I had to shower again just because I didn't oh. wash my hair. Yeah, you dirty. You man. should shower after you work out, Smelly. It's not a hard workout. It's... I don't really sweat that much. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> mm. He just okay. goes through the motions. <laughs> Point taken. I forgot to put my deodorant on once or twice for work. I always hate that. Do you yeah, have to yeah, stop yeah, somewhere yeah. and buy new deodorant? Because that's what I do. Nah, oh, I just God, I got, stink. It. Screw it. Yeah, no, I got I got cologne in every car I drive. Uh, mints, you name it. I, it's all about presentation. It's not like I'm sweating up a storm, you know, shuffling papers all day and 
<laughs> Could be. I don't know. Uh, Eating all that cool beef and cabbage. Or I'm not beef. that. I, I, I like to pretend I'm not that fat and disgusting where I just <laughs> stink unless I have on a ton of deodorant. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Look, as you as you go towards Ogre's office, the smell starts to get stronger and stronger. Think, maybe that's a good that's a good idea. I get to keep people out of there. I'm not going in it there. Would. He stinks. It's almost like Pretty an actual sure. ogre. Like you gotta make the hallway yeah. dim and dark. I would all put torches up on the walls. There you go. Yeah. There you go. I love it. I love it. All right. How about? Uh, how about uh, go back to Devil Dog from the Bronx? What's going on? Let's check. Have you check in? What's going on in your world? Everything is going good, man. Hey, yeah, we're getting ready for the new season. The Yankee season is coming up next month, you know. So uh, Ooh, making final preparations, getting ready to mm-hmm. check out my Bronx Bombers. Uh, you know, nice. that's it. You know, can't wait to get these tickets and uh, watch the game. There you go. Yo, how many games do you go a year? To go see the Yankees. I go, I, wow, I go to a lot of Yankee games. Uh, not only yeah. because I, I work within the vicinity of Yankee Stadium, but um, oh, yeah. I try going to quite a bit, quite a bit of Yankee nice. games. A lot of tickets we give away to the kids, we give away to the veterans, but um, I try to make as many games as I can. Oh man, there you go another one, Tony. Yeah, he's muting. He just it. Let, I, not, had, so. I had I had to mute that one. That Why was, are you that muting was... it? Just let it fly. Oh, uh, it was let horrible. Let it fly, man. This, yeah. mi- <laughs> this microphone because smells it was a already. Fart. I don't no. think you're gonna. You're not gonna offend our six viewers. Steve won't mind. <laughs> yeah, man. Steve, Steve is yeah, not Steve gonna mind. There. Hey, we got uh, we got James. James Ward is watching. Liz, Liz is watching. So, hey, welcome to the All show. Right. So, um, well, okay. Uh, so, Bobby, you got uh, you got the tickets, uh, and you get you get season tickets, or how does that work? Well, this is the Yankee organization provides them to us, and uh, you know, we usually offer them to the kids. We offer them to the veterans. Some of us, uh, you know, in the precinct go, but I, I like taking those tickets and giving it out to people who really need them. But um, I, I definitely go to this game all the time. Yeah, nice. That, that's, nice. The, that's the Yankee organization. They're a wonderful organization. They're wonderful with veterans, mm-hmm. and they're wonderful to uh, the community. So hats off nice. to uh, the Yankees. Awesome. Well, I don't know what we got up here in Chicago. If the, if the Cubs, the Sox, I don't know if they do anything right. like that. And we'll, we should look into that. I may look into that, see if there's something that they get yeah, out there man. or check out. I haven't been to a baseball game in in a while because it's too damn expensive. You're you're, you're probably your your best bet on that would probably be the White Sox. White Sox, give, yeah. I just saw you. more bang for your buck. I guess I don't know. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, I guess um, I guess in my oh, neck of the woods, really, I uh, there's, I bought there's a, nobody there. I, uh, well, at the Cubs or at Sox games. <laughs> yeah, they want to get people in there, so. Well, yeah, I'll, then yeah, then give us give us some tickets. That's what I'm saying. Hey, give us some tickets. We're a veteran organization. We want to go <laughs> to a game. Well, no, I didn't on. mean it like that. I didn't mean it like that. I mean to say, if you want people in there, you know, then yeah, give us give us a reason to go in there. I mean, I don't go to I don't go to Wrigley Field anymore because this is too damn expensive, and I just can't deal with with the with the, with the pretentiousness. Plus, I can't. I hate to say it. I mean, I'm a Chicago fan. I, I mean, I've been in Chicago my whole life, just about. And that's th- that's that Cubs song. Just oh, it just it, I, it's like a tr- nails on a chalkboard. <laughs> that go Cubs go song. I just want to slap and kick the dog. Wow. And, you know, it just I, irritates the shit out of me. You know, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm but, a I'm a lifelong Cub <laughs> fan, and I agree with you. I hate that stupid song. Oh my god. And yeah, I mean, enough. I got it. I get it. It's been a while. Yeah. All right, let's move on. But yeah, well today. Wait. Today I, I, I took the day. Sorry, yeah. go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, no. I was gonna say today I took a. Um, yeah. See now, Jordan Carlson just said stuck in his head now. So yeah. Speaking of stuck in your head, <laughs> that 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 shit you posted today, ogre. I did. I did have that humming. That. Uh, two, five, or that, 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 that that's an El Shalomar or what's the, what's the name of the. No, the, no, no. That's that's Kaja Gugu, my man. Shy, yes. <laughs> That's, uh, I don't even know that you're speaking English right now. What is it? it? Doc, Doc, this was like 20 years before you were born, probably. What the hell was it? 83 or something? 80, something 82? Like that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, because that's Google 20 years it. before I was born. Hush, hush. Yeah. Uh, to a barrel, barrel, barrel. Yes. Yeah, so I was, uh, I was, I was, I was testing out my new red kayak, and I was gonna I had a cool name for it, you know. So <laughs> I name all my boats or my kayaks and what have you. So I was going to name this one Red Dawn. You know, this was going to be a I thought, Ooh, Red Dawn. That's cool, man. But now I got shot down for that name. You know, my trophy wife didn't like that one too much. So I was like, all right. Name it Kajagugu. I might. I might. Yeah. So today, that's 
So that's what I did today. That was my check-in as I went to a local lake here near Lake Michigan, just because so, oh, it was windy still. It was still 35 degrees out. And my dumb ass was out there in the fucking water uh, testing out my kayak. Wow. Wolf Lake. Yeah, I was off at Wolf Lake. And, you running uh, any bodies? Woof, woof. <laughs> uh, there were some bodies, but uh, the the fish finder couldn't really make it out, and I didn't want to stick around. The smell was kind of was kind of <laughs> rancid, so I just didn't didn't oh, stick what... around. But uh, so I did. That's what I did. did you, so did out. you come up with a name or not? Wait a minute. No, did you say so... your Did you say your wife vetoed the name of your kayak? Yes. Oh, yes. they have that power. They do have that power, man. You know. I guess. We, I we, guess we, that's. We keep I guess that's. I, I guess that's why you guys are still married. I don't know. That's right. That's right. That's right. I learned. You gotta agree. I learned, I learned Always agree the with the wife. I, I agreed agree to move out. I mean, I... <laughs> <laughs> there's an agreement, though. You see, there's yeah. A, yeah. as we, long as you guys came, can agree. We came, we came to an agreement. I'll take my shit and leave. <laughs> That's it. Mutual understanding, so, there, ogre. So here's my thing. Here, yeah, here's my thing. It, it's St. Patrick's. It's St. Patrick's Day. I, you know, I grew up in in South Chicago when I was a child, and it was a, it was great. We used to go to the Southside Irish Parade every year. In fact, at one point, I used to live in Beverly, which is a pretty up, you know, pretty prominent uh, Irish, you know, cop and fire uh, firemen live in that area. And I, at one time, I lived there. And right right off of Western was the uh, Southside Irish Parade. So St. Patrick's Day has been kind of a big uh, big deal in my uh, in my life. And today. Uh, you know, today was just one of those days where I had to reflect because today was kind of an anniversary. Not to, I'm not going to try to bring anybody down, but I'm saying real quick, this is how, how quickly shit can change that how a, a great day or a great memory can get fucked up by a, a traumatic or, you know, memory or whatever. So, uh, so today was kind of those like iffy moments. How do I, how do I play this day? But it, it worked out really good because I ended up again, eating some corned beef cabbage. And, uh, but my question is really is because Somebody told me um, that I was going to wear a kilt tomorrow at, to, to a bar, but a kilt is Scottish, right? Or is it no, Irish? I, I thought it was both. It's I, it's it's, uh, it's it's both. Even uh, England, they wear them too. Welsh. Oh, really? It's Welsh? it's kind of a it's kind of a United Kingdom thing, or I guess Great Britain, or whatever the hell it is. England, Wales, Great Britain, United Kingdom, all oh, that wow. shit. So Do you have a I kilt out of I do. I well, I kind of I made one. I, I went to YouTube. You can make a <laughs> shit on YouTube. Man. Where did I make it? Shit. But Where I did I, a couple years ago. I made. I went to the fucking Joanne Fabrics and got some material. And <laughs> Joanne I, and I, I sewed it. I sewed it. Made it sew the pleats. Yeah, it was weird. Man. Uh, you sure you didn't me? buy a mini skirt? You probably yeah, gave no. those bags working in there something to talk about till Thanksgiving. Probably. <laughs> did, I, you know. did, I t- did I tell you about the Mexican kid that came in asking for a quilt for, for, a, <laughs> for a quilt for, for, for a, a, for a, a, a pattern for a kilt? What? <laughs> you hey, crack me up I'll sometime. I'll, I'll show you some pictures tomorrow. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, we got to see that. I was, th- <laughs> I was thinking about that because, like, man, you know, because someone made that point. One of our rugby guys. Uh, Josh, if you're listening, I did I did catch that, and yes, I, I think it may be Scottish, but I don't care. Any 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 chance for me to not wear clothes, I'm all over it. So uh, tomorrow, Fair stand enough. the fuck by because I'm wearing the kilt, and that's about it. There you go. You oh, can. Yeah. Uh, you, go. you wear a kilt. You you, you don't, don't have, have to wear it. underwear. You gonna wear underwear? No, I'm not. I'm I didn't think he was. Going. Commando. I didn't think Please. he was. Yeah. Yeah. You know. You're kind of and a slim wanna, character. You could probably people, you could probably go to like a uniform school and uh, get the get a girl no, something not, for like a Catholic school and pass it off as a kilt. It, that's yeah, that's all creepy, I fucking man. need. It's, it's to go that's around creepy. in a fucking Catholic school asking uh, for little girls' yeah. skirts. Yeah. That's creepy. That'd be a better hey, story senior. for the women working there. <laughs> Monsignor, how's this look? Hey, Check out my kilt. <laughs> what do you think? You got anything in a thirty-four? Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I do have 34. Oh, I'm, I'm impressed. I'm still impressed. Hey, welcome that. aboard, Steve. Thanks for watching. Hey, where's he? At? Hey, our where's Coke dealer. Our Coke. Yeah, we're getting closer and closer, man. I'm telling you, that's all I'm gonna say. We're very close. That's funny. I that's would, funny. I would say by April for. Oh, April 1st is right on the corner, isn't it? Yeah. yeah by April uh, 1st, we shall have something for you by April 1st. I guarantee. Okay. Mark my words. I guarantee. So, so what's <laughs> this uh, what is not are April we talking 1st, about? So it's tonight? not a joke. That's right. It's yeah, true. that's right. It's true. 
So what are we? Uh, so what are we talking about? There is so much shit going on, and and I don't oh, want to. I don't want to touch anything political because it's that's what every show exactly. is talking about. But uh, right. But yeah, there's a lot of crazy shit going on. So uh, we'll go around the table real quick. I'll start off with Ogre. What's uh, what 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 caught your eye this week that you want to discuss? Uh, the well, we got the guy in uh, Pennsylvania. I heard about talking what about early. There? A 45 year 45 year old man. Here, I'll read it for you. I got it on the old Google machine here. Missing <laughs> Pennsylvania team. Missing. If I know how to read the boot, <clears throat> take two. We can edit that out in post production. Missing post. Pennsylvania teen Amy Yu and 45 year old man likely in Mexico. So there's a 45 year old married dude in Allentown, Pennsylvania, and he ran off with a 15 year old girl young young amy you is there a oh, is there a picture of that guy there's a, picture, there's a picture of the guy let me see if i could find this here so it's 40 you guys keep talking i'll see if i can find That's it That's a bring freaking uh kevin michael I heard of one he went missing february wow. 9th he michael, cited, what? michael what's his name michael kevin michael easterly 45 from allentown pennsylvania Wow. Sign and it says the, the two have been involved in a romantic relationship. Ew. That's a you gotta little bit. Gotta get this young. guy behind bars, man. Even get for this me. This guy behind bars. Yeah. Yeah, I don't I don't know. I can't uh I just keep singing Allentown by Billy Joel. <laughs> Allentown. Go for it. Go for it. <laughs> Let's hear a sample. Actually, we'll make I, a comparison. I what um what what uh, city does well that you you may be getting close Harrisburg Pennsylvania where where is your uh your your uh significant yeah what your, am I your, uh, she is in Hazleton Pennsylvania Hazleton. which is yeah. about two hours north of Philly northwestish yeah. now that yeah that, that that town there was pretty cool that was some dark very dark bars. And uh, <laughs> nice. It was just something. Oh nice. wow. Okay. This guy, this guy looks like. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna share this with you guys here. Yeah. Let's put this it's guy. Kevin, put him on blast, man. Put him on blast. Kevin Easterly. Let me see if I could uh, figure this one out. It's the best to have here. See this creeper, man. It's loading. Call the cops. Let me know Call when you guys cops. see that. Put him up. Is, it's loading. The guy? There he is. It's I loading. see him. There he is. What the what fuck? What a pervert. Wow. He kind of looks like, oh shit, I can't think of the guy's name now. I know, he looks like somebody we know. Who, who I, is I, the guy that is the, the singer? The guy was the lead singer in Black Flag. Ah, Ro shit. Col Rollins, Henry Rollins. Hen Henry Rollins. I'm a, you're yes. a liar. I'm a liar. Yeah, that song. He does kind of look like Henry right Rollins. <laughs> and you well, have, if you I'm see this liar. guy, call. <laughs> wow. So he's in Mexico. So that's that's hey, everybody. Hey, scroll, back, that's every... scroll back down. Scroll back down. What's with the boobs oh, there next to uh, Johnny? Oh, you got rid of it. <laughs> Sorry. Could have had some oh, wait, fun. That's... I think we're doing copyright infringement. Wait. Who was that? Yeah. Is that yeah. Charo or something? Perhaps. Coochie coochie. No, I think that I don't know who that was, but that was Johnny Carson. Let me see if I could reshare this for you, because we got we you know anything you got to see he's boobs. Dead. If you, there's boobs, you gotta you gotta do well, it. Well, that's so. right. You gotta you gotta notice right. it. Hey, Devil yeah, Dog! Lovely. I just had an idea for your. Uh, What's up? Your, Everyone likes boobs. Your uh, who doesn't? Who is that? Is that Farron? <laughs> no. Who the hell That's is what it? I thought, but I don't want to. I don't want to click it because if I click it, it's going to take me all yeah. over the place. Yeah, yeah, it's there, trap. yeah. It'd be all it's over the trap. place. Be pulling up pictures of. Uh, oh, but yeah, yeah. It's yeah, a there's president's there's girlfriend. We got a comment from <laughs> Linda here. Uh -oh. Always, Linda. It's always those guys with the three names. Creepy. She's right, yeah. Linda. You're right, Linda. Oh yeah, they just do that to differ. They don't. Everybody, everybody's got a middle name. That's not true. Mostly everybody. I don't. I, I corrected myself. Mostly everybody. <laughs> so that's that's why they that's why they do that. They don't just identify. That's how they identify the people. Oh, yeah. but Devil Dog, I had an idea. So what did for you have for me? Your your veteran uh, fish catchers. Yes. They should What's bring up? them to, bring them to Illinois, and mm -hmm. have them. Fish for the Asian carp. Mm. Ah. Yeah, there you go. Okay. That's a good idea. Yeah. 
Good idea there, of, man. Take care of two problems at once. Kill two birds Good with idea. one stone, as exactly. they say. Exactly. Two fish. That's, if like you're hearing the, out like there, the guys, fish, there now. you go. That's I want to get the fish, those Asian are, carp. Are those the ones that just jump in the boat at you that you get the yeah. videos on YouTube where they're, like, slapping guys in the face and shit? <laughs> <laughs> exactly, yep. <laughs> Maybe if you're watching Pokemon... Magic can you carp. eat those? Can't they? Can't they turn those into like dog food or something? I man, mean, you could eat. You could eat anything, man. Well, that's you what I mean. I, you eat a pile of shit if you want to. Come on. <laughs> Nobody's oh, eating man. a pile of shit. Come on, Doc. <laughs> I'm not gonna go that far. That's, that's, a, that's a bit of a turn. Okay. One, of my, one of my dogs. I draw the shit, line. So <laughs> you're throwing it out there. Asian carp pile of shit. <laughs> same thing. It's all the same. Whatever. All right. Hey, you know where? So what do you um? St. Patrick came from? Uh, well, besides Ireland, yeah. You know that thing about, about he chased he chased all the snakes out of Ireland? Yes. What? According to I guess what is it? Some kind of some kind of scientist that studied I read this today because I was looking it up because I'm a nerd. Uh because of the way that the the glaciers re retracted or whatever they believe there were never never snakes in ireland because it's an island oh, and they true. never they never got there and it was just a a thing for the a, a story to tell the christians and the snakes represented the uh, the 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 pagans the uh, the the what mm. are those the the the, the celtic the vikings no yeah. not the vikings the celtics and the, the, okay. the pagan the pagan religions so St. Right. Patrick got together, the guys, and rallied them, the Catholics, and they just killed all these other fuckers, and then the story becomes the snakes. And oh they're like, God. you're a you're a saint. We love you. I know, man. You know, wow. when you look back, when you when you look at all these religious stories, they're very violent, man. I mean, Hell yeah. Violent that, that when you stop and think about it, I'm like, wow, we're teaching our kids this in, in, in like Catholic school. I was mortified when they, when they showed a picture of John the Baptist. And his head was decapitated. I'm like, oh. ever since then, I was like, well, I don't want my head to be decapitated. Yeah. So, you know, <laughs> it's, it's second was, grade, man. Tell the show what yeah. has about decapitation. Or if you touch your penis, you're now. going straight to hell. Well, oh, I'm going oh, to hell, hell man. man. Yeah, fuck that. I'm, you know, I'm going to hell right now as we speak. <laughs> See? See? Here's my other hand. No, I'm just kidding. I'm scratching my soul. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. All right. Well, good. That was a good story. Good story. Uh, I, I know uh, uh, Steve had mentioned about that Florida bridge and I, I didn't, I just Ugh. caught a glimpse of that, but man, that's just, that. crazy. that's horrible. Crazy. I guess uh, a, a, a pedestrian bridge fell. It wasn't, it wasn't even finished yet in Miami and it's, it, it, it killed like, I guess now they're up to eight, eight people. That that's was crazy. It wasn't, were people walking on it and it wasn't finished? No, it wasn't even finished know. yet. They it was, it wasn't well, crazy. Well, wasn't it the workers? No, the guys, got, was, uh, guys were, got squashed. They were installing it, and there were cars driving underneath it, like it was the. Uh, oh damn! Oh wow! Was, uh, I thought was, they were uh, driving across. No, they wow. got squashed. Wow. It's That's squish, bad. It's like squishy. You know, now more than ever, I'm keeping my ass home. <sighs> I ain't going anywhere now, man. I don't want to <laughs> go. It's anywhere. a dangerous world out there. The it guy is, on the guy, man. The guy on the radio, because I listen to old man news radio when I'm driving home. They were saying that they they had a guy on there in Flo in Florida, AM 780. That's right, WBBM. Doo -doo 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 -doo. And uh, <laughs> the, uh, the the Come guy from the five, the traffic the guy, and weather on there, the five. There you go. No, that's on the eights. The guy on in the Florida, eights. the the sheriff or whatever, the emergency guy. He was saying, yeah, the thing right now is we got to get in there as quick as we can to get the people if there's still people trapped in there. And I was I thinking know, about that, scary. and I'm like, that would suck. And then for some reason, I started thinking about like the coal miners, like in Chile and shit. Yeah. They're always like, yeah, you know, always the guys are stuck for like yeah. 38 days. <laughs> Jesus, I don't Man, like I get a conniption. I don't like being with people I work with for more than like 12 hours at a time. I can't imagine fucking 38 days and you're running out of food and every, everybody's you shitting in, in one corner. Yeah, I was oh, in the Navy. God. Were you on a ship? Like, I mean, Hell no. Did you go out to sea? No. 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 Uh, okay. What are you kidding? Screw that noise. No, that's well, I mean, I had other, I had other shit Navy to do. And, and ship, they kind of go together. There's, no, you know, man, it's, see, it's, that's, that's too tight. A, I, I, I get fucking claustrophobic. 
I get claustrophobic waiting in line at Subway, you know, just to get my order in because it's so crowded in there. So, you know, I, I don't go in those hours. I, I wait until like two or three when there's nobody around to eat lunch. But yeah, yeah. that would suck. They, they have they have shit like this, like Bad. earthquakes and stuff, yeah. and they still drag people out after like a week, and they're like, "Hey, I'm okay. Tell yeah, my mom I yeah. said hi." Like, how the fuck did you do that? I'd give up for my, us. I'd, I'd be a goner. I'd be like, the will oh, to survive. Makes, makes my hang makes my hangnails, you know, not not as uh, not as painful, I guess, that, anymore. That paper puts cut. Things in pers- yeah, it puts things in perspective, I guess. Well, yeah. Keith has a question for us here. Uh, um, what's that? Do you think it was accidental or on purpose? What's your thoughts? Ooh, yeah, good who question, knows Steve. nowadays, man? Yeah. Who knows? Uh, Christ, wait, who knows? I have something for this. Uh-oh. They're investigating, so we'll see. Damn, look at that greasy hair. Oh, you man. Oh, you made a tinfoil hat? hat? Holy Very crap. nice. <laughs> this shit was on purpose. <laughs> it was the oh, government. Man. It was all the government. It was the government <laughs> conspiracy. It was government all day long. I mean, come on. It is. It's Obama. How else would it's this bridge Obama. fail? They like, planted charges underneath it. People heard explosions. Right before it collapsed, I mean, um, the, the um, CNN um, was already there. I mean, come on, this shit nice just step. adds up. I'm digging A squared plus B, B squared equals C squared. All right. Yeah. Doc, Doc, I love your, He's on I, spring I, I, love, I love your conspiracy uh, pup. Your yeah. conspiracy <laughs> theorist puppet there. Is that going to be a continual segment? Oh, you should bring that great. head on we'll every see. every. Every show to, to you talk should do you should yeah you should do your own show conspiracy doc for a half hour and just rant <laughs> yeah that's cool God. man but you got to wear the hat but you, you have to wear the hat, hat on. yeah as soon as that hat comes on I remember there was a time when you know, you got to change that voice as soon as that hat hits I think I think that hat and some mirrored aviator sunglasses would be perfect oh there you go that'll yeah. do it I'll get next some. next week nice. next week we'll do it we'll do our pre Easter <laughs> show. Yeah. <laughs> Please, there. Here's conspiracy <laughs> doc. It was the government. I'll, I'll have something. Don't worry. It's it's still Clinton and the Obamas. Yeah. That's right. Freaking Bigfoot is actually a KGB spy, and we're yeah. we're, we're keeping them out there. Uh, all right. Speaking of spies, uh, Devil Dog out there. Not that you're a spy, but uh, you know that that whole uh, Russian. That uh, KGB thing, man. It's that's some crazy shit. That that isn't gas. that something else, man? Isn't that something? Wasn't Deadly. there something like that found? Wasn't there? Wasn't there something similar like that found in New York in one of the subways not too long, like a year ago or something? Or was that? Yeah, that's like some that? deadly, deadly, uh, sick stuff, man. And it's yeah. you know, it's pretty much undetectable too, you know. Yeah, I know. That's some crazy, crazy stuff. Shit. That's I said. I ain't leaving my house, man. I ain't going anywhere. I, was going I think you're. Yeah. I I think you're safe from the KGB giving you a, a gas attack there, Tony. Uh, I, hey, yeah. Hey, we're Marines. You never know. We may have pissed <laughs> off somebody that we didn't. You know, we must have did something somewhere. It's right. always traceable, right? We pissed off. Marines are known to piss off a lot of countries. So, that guy was uh, one. Straight. Just look at Okinawa, that, Japan. They're, that, that they're all locked down there. Uh oh. Yeah. They are. I didn't hear it. Okinawa. Hey, they're they're did always my, on lockdown there. I, I don't know if that's actually true or not, but they, did they, they num, did did no, did my number one son like rape a native or something? What the hell? <laughs> that happens a lot. I certainly it mm-hmm. does happen a lot. My kid, mm-hmm. my oldest son, is in oh, the Navy. He's in Okinawa. There you Okinawa. Go. Okinawa. I forgot about that. Okay. All right. <clears throat> number well, number two. Number two sons in Hawaii. Nice. Well, that's good. Well, see, you know what? I hear I haven't been to Hawaii yet, but I hear Hawaii is like there's like one side of the island is like really luxurious, but you go to the other side, it's kind of like pretty bad, pretty rough. I don't know. It's, it's, I don't know. I, been... I stopped talking to them because they they joined the freaking navy, and one goes to Japan and one goes to Hawaii, and they sent me to fucking Millington, Tennessee. <laughs> <laughs> Were you the milkers man? Because because he had a pretty mouth. That's why he did something there. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's that, against that, Tennessee. That, I mean. that mil- yeah, I got a shit ton against Tennessee. You're absolutely. That's exactly what it was. Fucking goobers. Oh, and it was a shithole. It was. They didn't do nothing to me. It was just dorks. It just <laughs> it, it's Tennessee, barbecue. man. Just think Maybe about it. Think. Just let me say this again. Millington, Tennessee. 
You you draw mm. the picture in your mind. You guys were in North Kakalaki. Yeah, I had a good time in North Carolina. I had the I had the ocean. You know, I, I I could go to the ocean and get lost anytime I wanted. Man. But yeah, middle of Tennessee, the, you could probably get lost in the mountains. It wasn't. No, no, no. It wasn't. Wasn't it? Was it was by it was by what made it even better was that it was it was outside of Memphis. So it was a hundred, a oh. hundred fucking degrees in October, yeah. and yeah. Memphis is oh. a shithole too. I go, you go to Memphis, and it's and anybody from Memphis, fuck you, your town sucks. And uh, <laughs> you, you go, you go to, you, you go to, you go to down, you go to downtown Memphis, and there's like four blocks, and they rip you yeah. off on everything, and they try to, they try to, uh, you know, get you on all the Memphis blues and all that bullshit about Elvis. Oh, yeah. You go three, you go, you, you go to block number five, you're in fucking Beirut. It's like okay, we need to turn around quickly. Yeah, Shit, that's like that anywhere think, though. I almost, I almost got arrested at Graceland because we were, because we walked through, some, wow. we went through some guy, we went through some guy's backyard and we were standing on his garbage cans trying to look over the fence because I didn't want to pay thirty two dollars to go in and see oh, El- Elvis's shitter. I said, I bet we can get yeah. a view for. Well, we were, we were drunk and you know. Oh, and then that's we were, that's like how that. every good story begins. And then we you got accosted drunk. by the. If the best part about Memphis was when we we uh, we we reenacted the uh, well maybe not the best part but uh, I was I was younger folks I used to drink a lot more uh, we we reenacted the uh, the, uh, the 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 MLK assassination picture and we saw a little roadside motel so they wanted to reenact no it. Way. Get, the guys I was with they were like you get to be MLK because you're fat and I said no I get. <laughs> I, I said I said I said I'll be I said I'll be MLK if any of you guys can name anybody else in the picture, and they could mm-hmm. not, and I could, so I got to be Jesse Jackson, who was in that picture where you got the three dudes and they're pointing and they're yeah, okay. yeah. I'm not making fun of MLK in the civil rights movement, okay? I'm just, right. We don't want we don't want no viewers just, to think we're making fun. Just, yeah, <laughs> not, not, let's let's get that straight. It was just we were we were young drunken sailors and we right. were. Reenacting we a historic photograph. We don't want to lose our Soul Glow uh, endorsement. Exactly. Because remember, we, we got double O. <laughs> nice, nice callback. Oh. No, but hey, that's true. Jesse Jackson was right. Was oh. right there next to him. Yeah. A lot of wow. people are like, "Hey, what about Jesse Jack?" That's why I always like to correct people when they start bitching for no reason about, even though you know maybe the message has gone astray, whatever. But Jesse, hmm. in his younger years, he was right there yep. with the. Uh, yeah, he was. Okay. Mm-hmm. He was a, he and was those a, are my Memphis stories. Oh, and I had, I knew a guy. One of one of my buddies bought a motorcycle, and they charged him like <laughs> like forty two percent interest or something. <laughs> was he in the navy? <laughs> yeah, he was. And wow, he that's why. The guy showed me the wow. couch. He's like, he's like, can you take a look at this? Something doesn't seem right. And I look, I'm like, they're charging you thirty nine and God, yeah. three quarters percent interest. Wow. Is that is yeah, that, that bad? Just yeah. gave it back to him. That reminds me, this is a public wow. Black Sea Bravo always has a public service announcement. So for you military men and women that are still deployed, that are still with them, that are still active, do not buy anything near base. Go at least thirty to seventy miles away from base if you're gonna yes, buy right. anything. Because you will get raped anywhere yes. near a base. I guarantee it. So do yep. not. Just just a little word of advice here from Black Sheep Bravo, because we care. Yeah, and those are the same. Those people that are ripping you off, those are the same assholes that come out in full force with their with their fucking yeah. signs about we love our sailors and marines. As oh, soon yeah, as they say, as soon as they say we're gonna close your base, they go nuts. They're like, oh, we love you. Please, <laughs> for five, 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 we can yeah, refly. That's yeah. right. Don't 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 take our base away from us. We love the military. Yeah, you love to rip them off, you fuckers. You know what? Economy, Speaking about just going to shit in that entire area. Well, that's just it. And I wonder, Millington, they closed, Millington was a naval air base. They closed that down in the early 2000s. I, I always get a notion to drive through there and see what's left of it. Probably nothing. That guy riding around on his motorcycle still. He... Jesus. So, Devil Dog, you, um, you, had, yeah. uh, you had something you wanted to, yeah. to talk about. Because you know what? Speaking about ripping off in these freaking con artists, I was reading yeah. uh, earlier today about these four individuals that were locked up they were basically portraying themselves as veterans and soliciting money for the Wounded Warriors Project. These four people conned uh, the community for 150 grand. 
that would have went towards the wounded warriors. I'm going to shout these people's name out. I'm going to put them on blast. This one guy, his name is James Linville. He was portraying himself as some sergeant. We have Thomas Johnson, his girlfriend, Amy Lou Bennett, and Joanne Watson. These four idiots got over 150,000, sending letters, mailing, uh, doing cold calls, and they were recently locked up. So I'm glad they locked up, let them rot in hell. Uh, they basically took a lot of money that's supposed to go to the uh, veterans. So this is the type of crap that gets me upset, and I wanted to bring it up. So speaking of those, when you was talking about uh, people doing crazy shit in cons, I just wanted to bring that up on the show. You know, look at these four guys, these three three guys and one girl locked up. Damn. Wanted to share yeah. that with the group. That ain't cool. Right. Ah, you know, Fucked sucks. Up. Sucks. What, what what city was this at? Oh yeah, this was in Lawrenceville, Indiana. Lawrenceville, Lawrenceville or Indiana. Lawrence? Okay. Or just Lawrence. I got Lawrenceville, Indiana. Lawrence, Indiana. Never heard of it. Lawrenceville. Yeah, can't find it. Otherwise, I would I would bring it up. But yeah, that's that's shitty, man. And that's um, I, you would that's think crazy, that in this day and man. age, it, people would catch that shit. Like I I don't I'm, I don't know I I don't donate. There's only there's only a couple places that I will donate to. But other than that, I I just don't do it anymore because you, you can't, can't tell, you can't man. Trust, you can't trust anybody. Well, oh wait, here's something from Steve. He said a Vietnam veteran was so badly beaten up in a random attack by a gang of teenagers that his skull was fractured. Edward Schaefer, wow. 64, who lost an eye while serving his country, was attacked from behind. Uh, wow. See, see more. Wow, that was a lot. Man, where was this at? Yeah. Philadelphia. Man, you know, like I said, it's Philadelphia, wow. man. It's craziness Some out there. Crazy so again, shit going on out there, man. Got a, got a. Always be aware, man. I, could, I got some guys. I'm going to throw a shout out real quick. My rugby, uh, Il Ileana Misfits, some of them are going down to Nashville for Nash Bash, a huge uh, rugby tournament down in Nashville, Tennessee. So I'm going to tell them right now, if you guys are watching, watch your six, watch each other because you you, you know yes. you got to be careful, especially when you start drinking. Uh, easy targets, man. Easy targets. Yeah, so man. Yeah. yeah. Tell them not yeah. to go to Memphis. Just don't go to <laughs> Memphis. Over don't buy a motorcycle. And don't buy a motorcycle. motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, right on. All right, Doc, you're up. What wow. do you got? Man, yeah, there's, there's a lot of crappy news tonight. What is going on? Yeah, oh, we, yeah you know, it's out wow. there. And hey, you know happy St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? Um, uh, on another more yeah, somber yeah. note, oh, uh, somber Stephen is. Hawking died this week, so this one's for him. Oh, oh man. There you go. Oh, yeah, here we yep. go. Here's, here's to a great See, mind. That cheers, was that was cheers. sad. And he and he died on three fourteen Pi Day, which was kind of kind of unique. Ironic. Oh, Ironic. Okay. Hey, but and let's cheer everyone up. Let's do our sketch game really quick. All right. All right. Let's see what we got. Get it going. All right. Okay. Oh, so just are to, you guys just, ready? Yes, yeah, we are ready. Doing? Is this okay. a picture pages part? Picture pages. Picture pages. Picture pages. <coughs> a little Come marker handy. Picture, picture pages. And Doc, you don't know what picture pages is, do you? He probably doesn't. <laughs> no. Yeah. Till Bill Cosby draws another picture page with you. <laughs> I wasn't born in 17 BC. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we're talking just a couple, what, 20 years ago. All right, lay it on us, Doc. All right, so uh, well, what you guys are going, going to sketch tonight very quickly is a three-headed snake smoking oh. a cigar in a chair. And Marks, get that go. God, this is horrible. <laughs> okay, hold on. Oh, man, this is going to be hideous. You say one of them? Yeah. One of them is smoking yep. a cigar. Only one right. smoking a cigar? Yeah. I'll give you guys 10 more seconds. Is it a Cohiba? All right. Is it a blunt? All right, let's Cohiba. go. It is from the Dominican right. Republic. Let's Very go with Devil Dog first. What do you, what you got? Okay, okay. So I got the three-headed snake 
smoking a cigar. I made it like a rattler. I don't know if you can. Can you see it? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Rattle. That's a rattle. Oh, that's very good. See. The head. <laughs> the, the I don't see the right chair, there. though. No, I couldn't get that part in there. Sorry, but That's okay. Better luck next time. You lose. Ogre. Next time. Next time. You lose. You lose. <laughs> Better luck next time. You lose. I'm not an artist. <laughs> So I came up. I don't I think any this. of us are. What do you got? What the? We can't see shit. Hold oh, on. Oh. <laughs> oh. There. Well, all right. Wait, whoa, whoa. Let's hey, start. we're back to this. What's whoa, going whoa. on? Wait, what is oh, going on here? Oh, 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 okay. We're back. Okay. I lose. So is that just oh, a middle oh. finger? Ogre's out. Yeah. Well, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> Way to participate. All right, All right well, here's, uh, what do you got? What do you got? What do you got? Uh, That's perfect. It's very. Oh damn! You know, you know it's very not nice. not a lot of detail, but uh, you know, least, I got, got I got three components. The three components: ah. the chair, the snake, the three-headed. I missed the chair. The I missed the chair. <laughs> See, you got you got. That's that's about what I came up with too. I like how you got uh, the heads okay. all together. That's <laughs> what I was stuck on. <laughs> so what does that what does that tell us there, Doc? What is what does the three headed snake tell us? Yeah. What is the significance? Put your hat put your hat your uh, tin hat. Yeah, back you got to put the hat back on. And tell us what this all means. Analyze it. Conspiracy. It means the government is a three headed snake. Cut off one head, <laughs> another one grows back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, He's on right. spring break, ladies and gentlemen. Doc <laughs> is on spring break. And I am not on drugs. Yeah. Say no yeah. to drugs. <laughs> they say no. Definitely say no to drugs, right? <laughs> well, thanks for yeah. participating, guys. That was good. Oh, I, was good. I, I, I like, I like, really the whole, I like the whole drawing bit. But see, pretty soon I'm going to start yeah. getting better. Like I, I just found uh, when I was going to school, uh, I took a, I took a class, expressive art therapy. Got ah. class and it taught us how to use stuff. But anyway, long story short, I bought some charcoal like uh, pencils and stuff like that, and I broke them out. I'm gonna I'm gonna start practicing. So the next time you do this, you know, it's gonna look like a masterpiece. It's gonna look very, nice. very nice. Like two minutes. Hey, ogre's got something. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> some expressive art for you. That's some that is some good expressive arts. Express yourself. That's good. yes. Then what is this? What's good. the what's the what's the what's the roll up for this? Nothing. No, it's just to have fun. Why does everything have to have a point? No point, man. It's just you know. No point. Just, that's just the way it is. No it point. Is. No point at all. Just that's just, just whatever. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's what we do, man. <laughs> hey, kind of a side a side note over real quick. Yeah, cold hearted um, snake. Now I got snake. <laughs> now I got snake song in my head. No, no. I got one better. On on the way to go test out my kayak, I the yeah, song yeah. Take Take On Me came on, you know, the super I was, what are they from? Yeah. Sweden? I forgot the name of Aha, that's what it was. Aha. Aha. Norway, was they were from, they were yes. from somewhere up there. Somewhere up there in Scandinavia or something, but uh, <laughs> oh, I was jamming. And I must have made some people laugh so hard because the, the light had turned green and they were still back there laughing because I was like screaming it, man. I was in. <laughs> I was, like, really oh, you do that down. too? You don't, you're not, you're not like most I, people that like turn their radio down or roll up their window. I don't give a window. shit. Yeah, like no. looking out the side, making sure no one's if looking I'm at happy, you. If I'm happy and I know it, I'm going to show it. That's that's all there, there is you to go. it. Life's too short to keep it all. Yeah. Right. That's, that's right it. here. It's ask. the happiness, man. Screw that. Mm-hmm. Happiness. All right. So what else we got tonight? What else What else we got going on? Anybody's dog died in airplanes lately? Not yet. Oh, yeah. man. I heard that story with the dog, the German Shepherd. You heard that story? Yeah, I heard about that. Went the to Japan. German the... Shepherd was, yeah, sent to Japan. Holy cow. Man. That'll teach you. And he made it back alive. For what? Made wow. it What'd it do? I guess it got wrong luggage. I don't know. Oh, is that where it went? Yeah, the woman went to pick up her dog and they brought out a, a great, a great dame. dame. And said, Here yeah. you go. And they're like, what the fuck? What the hell? What? That's not my dog. Yeah, that's your dog. That's 
Or your lady just said, that's your dog. <laughs> Sign here, please. Sign it's here. got the number. It's got the number right here. That's you got the, the ticket. ticket. No the ticket, ticket. No, no wow. ticket, no doggy. All right. That's not my dog. Oh, that is your dog. Oh, that's man. all the way to Japan, man. And then at Came least it was first class. At least it was still breathing when they got it back. I, that other one they yeah. shoved in the fucking overhead compartment. You got to put your dog up there. No, who who did that? Was it the 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 people who were flying the flyers, or was it the steward? Or no, the the, 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 the staff. The, the yeah, staff stewardess is there? fine. The staff said you got to put your dog in the overhead compartment. That's yeah, I don't, I don't think yeah, I don't think they like to what be called. What sense that does anymore, that make? Really. Fucking fluffy Flight was attendant. stone cold when they got. What's wrong with stewardess? Come on. I don't know. Is that really? Is that, I don't, are, are there any stewardesses out there? That, that, I thought that, you guys. I just don't think thought... they use that terminology anymore. Flight. I don't fly. Flight attendant. Ah, flight flight attendant. I'm a I'm a dying breed. I don't know what to do. Or tell is it you. is it a flight server or flight flight waitress? Flight it's waitress. Airplane. Flight waitress. Airplane whore. <laughs> Air... Flight waitress. <laughs> God damn! We went from waitress to whore. Man, Holy that's, that's God. something. Okay, the next thing well, you're gonna tell me, the next thing you're gonna tell me is that those guys that are stewardesses are straight. Well, yeah. <laughs> Wait. Okay. okay. Uh, well, what does this have to do with anything? I'm just wondering. It's just you know, I don't, I'm gonna be flying here. I'm gonna be flying to. I'm gonna What's be flying to Minneapolis here pretty soon. And my point is that a large that a large percentage of male stewardesses are homosexuals. Not that there's anything <laughs> yeah. wrong with it, but they Not are. If you are one, no, would come you, log on to the show. If you are, would be you, gay. Come <laughs> would you trade yeah. uh, trade your job for a week, like for two days as a flight whore, like you said, for two days? <laughs> would you trade your job now to be a flight whore? Flight Who, whore? me? No, yeah. I fucking I, – ha I hate people. I ain't getting them a fucking drink. Fuck off. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, how about, how about you, bitch? double dog? Would you, can, would you can trade? You get me, uh, can you get me a blanket? Yeah, I'll wrap it around your fucking neck. How about that? <laughs> Do they even have blankets anymore? I feel like they, they don't. They sure do. Yeah, know. they do. When the last time I heard about it, it was like those military issued green uh, oh, scratchy yeah. pad type that's, blankets. That's that what they like are. It's a, it's a scratchy ass old brown, <laughs> but they have blankies. They got blankies Our, and <laughs> little pillows. Yeah. Our unofficial you know fact checker has said that it is flight attendant. It is, flight attendant, man. Flight, flight attendant. attendant. Survey says. What? It is flight it's it's it's, uh, it's subjectual. It's it's, it's subjective. Okay. That's the word I'm thinking. So, I'm making up my own so words guess, again. So I guess the question is, one of the flight attendants shoved the dog inside the overhead. They bin. didn't. They didn't. They didn't shove it. They told the guys that the, that their pet dog had to go in the overhead compartment, and the people uh, complied and put I their see. dog in the overhead, and then what, they opened a chihuahua? it. And no, nah, it was a bigger. I don't know. I didn't read the whole thing, but they had pictures yeah, of it. If stu stupid little dogs, that fucker, like. fucker was dead. No, nah, it was. A, I don't know. They try to pass them off as everybody tries to pass them off as a service dog now. Yeah, yeah. Something. A lot of people. A lot of people. It's do now that. a hand. It's now a hand warmer now. Let's, let's make them see. Out of it. Now let's oh, check the uh, dog. Oh hand. my right. gosh. So yeah, I'm gonna be traveling here uh, to Minneapolis here in in, uh, what, in two weeks, end of, end of this month, and I am not looking with, forward to it. So with your dog? No, no, my dog's yeah, staying behind. Yeah, don't bring. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm not bringing her. She's flight uh, attendant. Is, uh, flight attendant placed the dog in overhead luggage bin. Did not know. Did not hear passengers warning that there was an animal in a container. What? Oh, 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 oh. So the dog was in a was in one of them dog holders. And they yeah, said your shit's of... gotta go, your shit's gotta go in the overhead. Oh, it's a little dog. It's like a little uh, what are them French bulldogs? Oh, I hate that. Oh man, that sucks. Oh. Holy shit! Look at look look at the video of the dog owner. Good oh, lord. I, I can't. You gotta see. You gotta oh, pull shit. this up for us. You could share. You could she share she probably she probably had to pay for three seats. Oh my. Oh man. That sucks. That's see, that's what I'm worried about. I don't and wanna, then what I don't gets me get... is that the the senator the senator says John Kennedy, senator, I will be fi I will be filing a bill tomorrow that will prohibit airlines from putting animals in overhead bins. Violators will face significant well, fines. Uh, Pets are family. Why can't we just use common sense? Yeah, why would you have to sign a bill? Well, why do you want to take your dog with you? Like, where was? Why do people gotta take their dogs anywhere? Like, if you're going because... to work, I can see that. I don't know. Why would you take Isn't your dog that, to work? 
take your dog to work. No, day? I'm just, I'm just saying like, <laughs> why would you have to travel with your dog? I guess I don't, I don't get that part. Where, oh, because where you're at. like family, man. Cause you're fucking insane. I don't know. Like, I guess like, I, I, I need my doggy. It's a pain in the ass. It's just a pain in the ass. It's like a kid. Like you're traveling with a kid. It's a pain in the ass. Cause if you I drop the kid someplace, the kid you at forget home, about them. I flew from home. Throw him some food, I, I, give him some water, let him fend for himself. I, yeah, flew see, from, I, I flew from Midway to Detroit with my mother-in-law once. Hotels. I wanted to stick her in the overhead bin. Oh, pet motels, Devil Dog? You said that those yeah, were? Yeah, it's expensive, but me and Mrs. That Devil Dog, when we go away for vacation, we leave them in the mm. pet hotels, and it's expensive, but, man, they, they love it. They yeah, get treated. Sure. You can see them on your phone. You can call up and speak with them. It's, it's no crazy, kidding. but hey. Why would so you, you want to call, call just speak. to talk to your dog? I, like, does it answer I, you? Like, is it saying hello? My or, wife, what? They, they're our baby. <laughs> we, went right? we went to Disney, and she was constantly calling. Is she all right? Is she all right? It's crazy. <laughs> Do I have to be schizophrenic or to listen? Uh, uh, what's going on? It's our babies. Is your dog on our babies. <laughs> yeah, right? Nah, like, she's I cool. Come she's up... laying down right now. She's cool. Oh. I want to come hey, up with a... A service where we could freeze, we could freeze your dog, and this you don't have to yeah. worry about it. We'll freeze it. We'll keep it on a, we'll keep it on a shelf. Yeah, and put them in back, one of them sleep pods like an alien or something. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Hey, exactly. I think if you figure that there out, go. we're gonna be very, very rich. Well, that's it. Black Sheep Bravo brought to you like, by Black Sheep Bravo. We're gonna have that for you. Walt your, Disney. Walt animal. Disney. He's in, he's in one of those, isn't he? Mm-hmm. I think so. Wow. Yeah. Ogre can start so working Steve, on the math for us. Yeah, Steve man. said he had uh, he had some very sad news to share. So Cold. go ahead and and oh, share geez. that, Steve. Uh, oh, Steve, that's old news. We talked Toys about oh. that about Toys R Us. Oh, about closing. the Toys R Us. That's what I was gonna yeah, say. Toys R Us news. is closing. Yeah, yeah, that's it. You you missed the last show that's when it. we talked about it there, Stevie. Yeah. Doc, 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 you didn't buy your toys. Now is the time to do it. Get it while you get it while it's hot. Store it in your garage and then sell it. You know, that's, yeah. that's how Amazon's doing it. That's Amazon's going to rule the world here pretty soon. They Very all these online I worked stores. at Toys R Us. starting I, to ship cars to I worked people. at Toys R Us once. You did? Oh, really? I worked at a Toys R Us for about, yeah, for about, what? I don't know. Shit. It was it was weeks. It was like Christmas extra help. It sucked. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just spent all my time. I, 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 was, I was thinking about it when I heard it. I'm like trying to remember. I don't remember like a manager or anything. I just remember running around in the, in the back. I was all stone trying to hide from anybody who was in charge go out and pick a, go out go out and co- go out in a lot and collect carts for like two hours and then go home yeah that, that's a great job that is that is good good outdoors a great outdoors okay hey. and they wanted right, me to put like got? bicycles and shit together oh yeah no, man. you can't do that you can't do that man because those those bikes would Especially never work when you're high yeah i know <laughs> Good luck, kid. Uh, there Steve, you go. Very Steve, no, you cannot use my garage for storage, Steve. No. Oh yeah, for he's he's gonna go buy toys. See, he, Absolutely he ain't dumb. not. Oh, I thought use he was one storing. Your, use one of your pets use one there. of your use one of your coke trucks. Put all the put all the toys yeah, in the coke truck. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> and then park it park it in your front of the house, and then sell it to the kids <laughs> exactly. as they come around. <laughs> You know? Kind of go over well with the neighborhood, I'm sure. <laughs> sure. Hey, 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 that's how they do it in the Bronx. Yeah. Right, the Bronx. That's how we Where'd do you get it. That, we where'd you get that toy from, Junior? Uh, some guy down the street is selling it out of the bag of a Coke trailer. What? I, I got this Pokemon and a two liter, all for two bucks. <laughs> that's it. That's how. That's how he's gonna do oh, it. That's it. That's great. Two bucks. Great. Two bucks. Two bucks. All right. I hate that's there. Awesome. Uh, Doc, do you have uh, any any new segments or any of your segments this I week? I do. We have yeah, what do you got? the got it. position of the week. All right. All right. Let's see what Let's we got. Let's go ahead and get this done. Lay it on us. Mm-hmm. All right. So we got this coming up. Oh, that's actually the wrong Oh, thing. what the hell is that? Um, oh, don't worry pretty. about the lights there. Uh, this is what we look like. Here lights. We Holy cow, what is that? All right. Now, oh, right. Right. before you tell us, yes. let's go around the round table here. We'll start off with Ogre first. Name this position. Uh, the coffee table. Ooh. Nice. Oh, good Very one. good. Okay. Uh, I'll go next. I'm going to say reverse wheelbarrow. Oh, that's good, too. 
Yeah. Okay. All right. Ooh. All right. Devil dog. What do you What do you say? I'm gonna name it the X Factor. What? Ooh, ding, 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 ding. Did I get it? No. Yeah, th- you got it. Oh, hey. I Holy crap! Shit. Look at that. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yes. Fucking yes. devil dog's a freak. <laughs> hey man, I know what I'm doing, man. I know what I'm doing I in the bedroom, it. guys. He's done this one that, before that, many times. That oh, that one no, there doesn't no, no. look too hard. She's got to have. But see, but I'm gonna hurt my arms when I'm hold that. That's kind of hard, man. You gotta you tape got your, your. You gotta tape your wrists. Your shoulders. Yeah. yeah. You gotta. You gotta stretch. I think it's a cramp on that one. Looks like a cramp on that one. And get your. Uh, what, what is uh, your chondritin? Yeah, your your back. Yeah. <laughs> and it looks that's, like that's, exercise, man. Ogre does uh, not like this. Ogre does. The ogre is getting getting frustrated. Well, I do. I, I I I. I like it, but I mean, I don't like it. <laughs> See, he's looking Fair. up. He's looking at the ceiling, which like yeah. I'd rather be looking at the at the you know the peach. It Dang almost it. looks like his head should be facing the other way. Yeah. 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 Like his neck is broken right now. It's like he got his neck snapped by the fucking dude, the, the evil guy from Superman 2 or something. Not the, the yes. non came in there and gave him a neck snapper while he was screwing his wife in a dose exes or whatever. Yeah. Oh, man. I love that it. Guys are crazy. This is great. This is great. That, 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 was, that was a good one, though. That would have to be on the floor, though. You'd need, some, you'd need stabilization. You couldn't do that with, like, an All you got to do is get, get like, one Beach. of those uh, sex ramps that, you know, you know they, they look like this. Sex oh, the ramps. liberators. Sex ramp. What the hell? Yeah, they, 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 they just look like that. Yeah, that's a wedge. They're, they're like padded and stuff. A wedge. Is that yeah, a wedge? There we go. I thought that the was vaginal. for like I thought that was for like sitting up and playing video games or something. You could, yeah, you could do that. <laughs> you Multi-purpose. Do you want with that. I saw. I didn't know that's what those were for. <laughs> now, I touch, now I don't want to touch them. Now I don't want to touch them in the <laughs> in the futon store. It's called the. <laughs> Coitus, coitus wedge. Why? Why do you no. think the the airplane neck pillows were invented? Yeah, there you go. You know what? That's not a bad idea. We're gonna have to try that next time we introduce the. Unless we have next time we have the colonel over, we'll have to. <laughs> I'm gonna have to try that. Hey, what are you going to wow. Minneapolis for? Uh, it's classified information. I cannot discuss yeah. that at this moment. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna be oh, out there uh, doing some work s- out there for the s- uh, GOV. I want to see my There you go. Is he still alive? Work? I want to see Mondale if he's still alive. Walter Mondale. Oh no, I was going to visit the Prince, the Prince Memorial. Is Um, he dead? Prince? Yeah, he died. No, not Prince. Walter Mondale. (laughs) I don't think he did. I don't think he's dead. If he's alive, he's going to be like like a hundred. I'm going to go just go up there and maybe try to hit up a couple lakes. Go check out the. what do you call it? The Viking Stadium? I forgot. Does it have a name? I forgot the stadium. I just want to check out because it looks—it's supposed to look like a Viking ship. I want to go check that out. Yeah, it used to be the so, Metro. They tore that down, didn't they? Right. Yeah, I think they did. So, so yeah. My sister uh, lives up there. St. Paul. Stop in and oh, see my really? sister. Get yourself a hot meal. Really? Hey. That'd be nice. Yeah. Nice. Or sushi? Does she like sushi? Does she like sushi? Like a treat. I'll know. treat one night. Uh, <laughs> think I, one, that's a new. So, think St. I, Paul, think I talk to my sister Minneapolis. that much? Yeah, I was going to say, you guys aren't aren't close, I take it. Hey, what's his um, face yeah. is up there, too? He's back, uh, Al Franken. Oh, yeah, he's I'm going to go probably hook up with him. He's looking for a job. job. Maybe you could, you could help him out there. Maybe I could <laughs> see. Maybe we could use an extra guy on the team here to see what's up. <laughs> oh, man. All right. So, yeah, it's uh, it's getting close to the end of the hour. And, uh, man, I swear, this, this goes Holy by shit. so damn quick. Yeah. So fast. So Anybody fast. watching college so, basketball? No, I wanted to touch no. on that really quick. No, I wanted no to touch cares. on that really yeah. quick. Has uh, has people been? Has your has your whatever your picks been winning or how long? Yeah, how yeah. Your, I'm actually uh, curious. Your last yeah. show. Not nah, all suck. Remember, they all suck. <laughs> they all suck. Oh, okay. Oh, that's unfair. Yeah. We didn't think at, about it. At fucking uh, Arizona screwed me. I had them in the final four. Oh yeah, that was a tough and one. And they just they yeah. just took a shit. They lost in the first round. Steve is that. spamming the shit out of us right now. He's complaining about his t-shirt. It's, it's on coming. its I way, swear. man. Good I lord. Swear. We're, we're almost there. Devil we, dog, go extra, buy him a fucking got, t-shirt and just <laughs> hopefully, pay back. hopefully you could fit into I, an extra I, small because that's the only size we got right it's, now. It's, so it's in the works. 
We'll need we a picture of that too. We have a child man in, in a little coat. <laughs> yeah, it'll yeah. come in. <laughs> so, all we, right. We, we, well, we owe we it go to him. Again. We owe it to him. I know. Oh, for sure. Trust me, Steve. We, you are not going to go unnoticed. You're gonna, you're gonna get a lot of, you're gonna get a lot of shit from us. Just, just to let you know, it's coming. All right. Yeah. Well, we're gonna go ahead and go and get our final thoughts here uh, for this Friday, March 16th, as we prepare for St. Patrick's Day tomorrow. Uh, so we're gonna go around the table real quick. Devil Dog, we'll start off with you. Go ahead and take us out. What are your final thoughts? Uh, another good show. I want to wish everyone well. Take care of yourselves. Uh, you know, reading about, you know, as always, uh, reading about PTSD, it's a difficult thing to uh, deal with, but that's what we're here for, to help you guys get over that, get your minds off to all the nonsense that's going on in the world. And and when I read about the uh, Army veteran, uh, Wong, who did what he did, and he killed three people in uh, California. That brings me back to this show, because that's what we do at this show. We bring a better light, try to keep their hopes up, and help our veterans get over that. Just an hour of us goofing around. If it makes them laugh, then we've accomplished our mission. So God bless you, veterans, and uh, keep hope alive, gentlemen. There we go. Beautiful. Well said. Very well said. Uh, who wants to go next, man? Who wants to follow Devil Dog? Uh, Sorry, uh, you know, man. Between... No, 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 you're good. That's good. I love it. I love it. Uh, all right, go, Doc, go, go for it. Oh, I thought that so was. Does the, that mean? I, does that mean go uh, or does that mean? No, no that go? means that means he beat me to. He's not it. That's what they. Oh, I'll do it. it. I don't care. <laughs> Whatever. After Devil Dog, <laughs> that one wasn't so terrible. There was no. Well, maybe a little bit. All right. No I'll tears. <laughs> no tears. Was the tear jerker? Uh, what do we got? Another another hour gone by. Another week of talking about bullshit so uh you know hey <laughs> at least we got don't, West, don't. we got westworld season two to look forward to <laughs> there you go <laughs> Fucking a. I uh, don't, for, don't, seen... for, don't forget uh don't forget monday motivation 7 p.m right here tell your friends there you go tell share friends. it on and facebook it's ladies night and it's sure. it's and don't forget it's ladies night that's right Oh, what right. a sight. And, uh, Ladies, if you uh, if you chime in, you you may win a prize. So uh, this Monday, you get a t-shirt. You get a t-shirt. You get a t-shirt. <laughs> you get a t-shirt. <laughs> Speaking and of t-shirts, t-shirt. anybody Steve anybody says, watching that? Up, oh, Steve still bitching about a t-shirt. Yes, yeah, what he said. No, he <laughs> Steve says, why can't you borrow money from a leprechaun? Why? <laughs> because a, they're always a, they're because they're always a little short. <laughs> <laughs> What all right. Fucking Steve. All right, Steve. You'll be here all week. Wow. Don't forget the time. Thank you, Steve. That's a That's good, good one. Don't quit your day job, Steve. Don't that was pretty day. good. Yeah. yeah we need our call. Right. Have a have a good week and uh, you know, be cool. Don't sweat the Don't sweat uh, the small uh, stuff. I don't think it works like you started though. Yeah. I know. Yeah, that's got to come natural, man. If, yeah. Before you leave tonight, you got to throw it out there one more time. All right, yeah. Doc, final thoughts. Um, I, I'm actually really pissed off at this Master Chef Junior because they they make these amazing <laughs> meals, and I don't I don't get it. Like, how does a an eight, an eight year old cook a filet mignon with I, I don't even know what the hell they're putting on it because I don't understand what they're saying, but it's just frustrating. It, it is. is. It is. Incredible cooks. Yes. Well, in, invite one of them kids to your house and make them cook for you. I think that's against the law. So I'm going to. Yeah, it might be. Yeah. Might be some <laughs> trouble with that. Yeah. Just like that. Rewind. Bit. Forget that. Forget I even said that. It'd be hooked oh, up yeah. with Steve and a fucking truckload of yeah. toys. <laughs> <laughs> hey kid, here's a here's a Power Ranger. By the way, can you cook a fucking steak? Come on. <laughs> 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 oh, that's oh yeah that's beautiful yeah, that, that's, oh, right. that's it just those little assholes that are showing those everyone assholes. up fuck them <laughs> those pretentious <laughs> little assholes yeah, fuck little those quick. kids <laughs> <laughs> I hate them little pain in the ass kids I can't oh, microwave man. a fucking hot pocket and you're making a goddamn <laughs> beef uh, wellington on, kids. Uh, right Oh, little man. bastards oh. like, go I, to school. I, what kind of shit are they making? It, it's crazy. Well, is that, I have something. Man. Is that that you guy? With, they, they got that English guy yelling at him. Is that the same? Uh, yeah, but well, he's, uh, uh, does he yell at, 
Does Who he still yell at, does he yell at them he, like he yells at the no, adults? He, he doesn't call people donkeys or anything. He's actually really nice to the kids and helps them I out. Should, of course. Oh, fuck yeah. that. He should, he should scream at him. That would be better. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I would love to see those Smack kids cry. Smack him around cry. a little bit, too. <laughs> well, you don't put have him to... in their place. Maybe not Mitch, smack you know who you are? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But you know who this I is am? my house. I'm right. Gordon Ramsay, <laughs> goddammit. Pick up yeah. those fucking garlic buds or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't make those don't cry when you cut those onions, damn it. You cry, I'll piss on your face. <laughs> oh man, we got yes, way off oh, shit. Anyway, okay. No more kids on uh no more kids on, on cooking shows, all right? No it's more piss pissing off on now. kids' faces. <laughs> I'll piss on your face. <laughs> wow. We've gotten all face here. Oh man. Hey, that's just the shit that I was told to when I was a kid. I don't know. That's, yeah, I just, doesn't, doesn't every doesn't every kid hear that in their in their lifetime? That you're gonna get oh. pissed on? I guess uh, so. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. Once or twice. Anyway. I don't think yeah, it's anyway. Not that I'm into that kind of shit. No. Anyway, all right. My final <laughs> thought. All right. Black Sheep Bravo is always here to help others. So uh this week I'm trying something different. I'm going to showcase a job uh, offer that's out there for thirty-five thousand a year. Ooh. You can test out sex dolls and and give them review. So uh, next week I will post that article or that job description, and hopefully you guys can apply for it. Uh, again, thirty-five thousand to test sex dolls. Yes, ogre. Oh, 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 sex dolls. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't hear yes, you the first time. Okay. He's ogre plenty of hose. Balls. He doesn't need to do that. He don't yeah, need he that, need right? That yeah, he's knee deep, knee deep in some tang. <laughs> <laughs> I, I told you to keep quiet about that. Yeah. She's like five feet away from me. Shut the hell up. All right. <laughs> okay, so that brings us to our first sponsor. No, we don't have any sponsors yet, but uh, anyway, <laughs> thank you so much again. This was a great Friday. I had a, you know, this was it was a pretty rough week, but today I look forward to laughing. It was. It was great. What is, that? What is okay. going on? Someone's o Ogre. laughing here. Ogre is going crazy over there, so settle down over there, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm just sitting early. here. I don't know what you're Tip talking her about. A little no. less. A little We're less, almost off the tickle. air. He's Not touching the box. There. My He's hands are right here. So anyway, it's at another Friday. Thank you guys for watching. Again, we got some great new stuff lined up here in the future. Um, again, like Ogre mentioned, don't forget to catch us on Monday night, Monday night, uh, mo or Monday motivation with the Ogre, as well as on Sunday mornings, you will get to see Beyond the Thin Blue Line with the Devil Dog. Excellent. This will be episode five this week. Uh, if you haven't caught X episode four, definitely take a look at that. It's on our YouTube channel. Uh, as we could also find the leak in our uh, face or in our Facebook page here at Black Sheep Bravo. So definitely. Your help is greatly appreciated, and uh, your support is as well. So, again, this has been a great week. Uh, enjoy the weekend. Spring is around the corner, and remember that we're going to be here around uh, um, here uh, coming up show. So make sure you keep us uh, keep uh, keep looking for us. All the different uh, notifications and uh, what do you call it? Whatever Doc is doing, keep up the good work. Uh, definitely, we enjoy your comments. So. This is the Spaniard keeping it tight here from Black Sheep Bravo's Friday Night Roundtable. Until next week, have a great weekend and be safe. This is the Spaniard out.